Welcome back. Thanks a lot for staying with us and we're getting some breaking developments now coming in. And this is a CNN News 18 exclusive. The Pathan Court attack mastermind Shahid Latif in fact has been killed in Pakistan in a mosque. The Jaish e Mohammed terrorist Shahid Latif believed to be the mastermind of the 2016 attack on an Indian Air Force base in Pathan Court in fact was gunned down on Wednesday. This was by unidentified assailants in a mosque in Pakistan. We'll get more details of what really happened. But this is the picture that we're putting out of Shahid Latif as we pointed out the man who's known to be the mastermind of the 2016 attack. Let's also now bring in our colleague Anand Narsiman who is joining us on the broadcast. Anand, just give us a little more details of uh, how he in fact was gunned down, whether this in fact has been confirmed by local authorities in Pakistan. More importantly, give us more details about this designated terrorist. Local police personnel have confirmed to CNN News 18 that this uh, uh, death has indeed happened. Shahid Latif was somebody who was there in a Jammu jail uh, till 2010 and he was uh, deported uh, and uh, he was sent across to Pakistan where we are given to understand he combined the ranks uh, of the Jaish Muhammad officially joined them. His, he goes by the alias of Bilal. He was wanted under the UAPA Act by the government and uh, uh, his, now, his death has now been confirmed along with two of his associates who were shot dead soon after uh, the afternoon namaz we are given to understand or the morning namaz uh, at a at a mosque in uh, in in pakistan and uh, the unknown gunmen have targeted him we are given to understand there is no uh, establishment of who killed him but it's been deemed an act of terror that's what but he was a designated terrorist under the unlawful activities prevention act by, by Bharat, he was wanted in the 2016 Pathan Court Act. So imagine, till Jam in a Jammu jail, he was there till 2010, where he came in contact with the likes of Masood Azhar and Alati for somebody who had infiltrated Jammu and Kashmir in 1993. Uh, and then he goes back to Pakistan, comes back, and then he was known as the mastermind of the Pathan Court uh, attack at the Indian Air Force Base uh, on the 2nd of January, an operation that lasted for about 17 hours. Uh, and uh, that involved the death of uh, nearly seven soldiers and uh, five of the attackers uh, had uh, died in that. But clearly, Bilal was seen as the ma mastermind of this. So <coughs> all those who continue to harbor an ill will against Bharat repeatedly uh, sent back after spending time in prison, sent back, came back again to hurt Bharat and now again wanted, <coughs> but now eventually accounted for or perhaps uh, killed. Now, we, whether this is intimacy in rivalry, we have to wait and watch uh, whether there is a whole thing about uh, one-upmanship within the Jesh ranks. We'll have to wait and watch. But the local authorities and cops are calling it an act of terror. But he was shot at uh, point-blank range by shooters who were aware of the lower local topography. Latif, <coughs> Shahid Latif or Bilal, was about 41 years old. And uh, there is uh, some limited indication that some local terrorists have are are involved in this killing. So, like I said, this could be internecine, this entire fight, because there is a massive uh, tussle for one-upmanship and leadership among the ranks of some of these jihadi outfits. So, as Anand is pointing out, we still don't have clarity as to who were the people behind this mastermind being, mastermind, in fact, being gunned down, whether this was personal enmity or whether it was something else. Anand, the other details that we're also now picking up is details of how this man was active in the last few years. He, in fact, had infiltrated into the Kashmir Valley in 1993, was then arrested a year later. He was in Jammu jail with Masood Azhar, founder of the GM, till about 2010. Is there any other details coming up of his latest activities by officials on the ground? Well, what we're given to understand is that this man, like you said, uh, who infiltrated into Jammu and Kashmir in the 90s, was part of the Harkatul Mujahideen, which is the pa parent group of the jaish e Mohammed. Now, Harkat was a splinter group of the harkat e jihadi islami that was engaged in Afghan jihad against the Soviet Union. But as they entered Jammu and Kashmir, the two five, uh, you know, factions combined ranks to form the Harkatul Ansar in 1994 that later on evolved into the jaish e Mohammed. But uh, what we're given to understand is that there were uh, nearly that uh, Latif was also one of the terrorists who was holed up inside Hazrat Pal Shrine 
during the siege in 1993 that was when 40 terrorists were actually holed up there are a lot of them were also locals but there were also people who had come in or infiltrated from pakistan now uh, a point is that nia claims that uh, latif was a member of the harkatul mujahideen but the jammu and kashmir uh, records at that time showed that he was part of the jamiatul mujahideen and there is a reason why uh, his uh, deportation was also opposed in 2010 when he was in a jammu jail but he came back in 2016 and we are given to understand that he has been on the radar of the nia ever since the pathan court attack and he was a wanted person but larger question is how is he how is this person who is wanted by bharat for unlawful activities on our soil getting free passage and free run in pakistan and if he's been done in by local terrorists imagine what's happening and what's the current state of affairs on ground in pakistan true anand we'll have to leave that conversation there appreciate you helping us with those details we in fact also have retired major general sp sina also now joining us on the broadcast so good to have you with us here on cnn news 18 the details that are now coming in from pakistan they're still sketchy but they in fact are now confirming that the man of the mastermind behind the pathan court act way back in 2016 shahid latif in fact has been killed in pakistan but what is interesting as of now is the people behind this gunning are un- identified and the reason also stays unknown this is uh, it's a great day it's a great news for india great news for bharat and i'm personally very happy that the culprits who have caused death to many are being booked, are being brought, brought to the book and they are being taught a lesson the the most happiest part is i call these people who are so who have been instrumental in liquidating about i think last uh, six months about 14 to 15 uh, these jihadis have been sent to 72 hoods the question arises in everybody's mind who are these people and uh, you know i i can just throw a hint they are friends of india they are well wishers of india who are prepared to fight in pakistan can you imagine pakistan which was considered a safe haven for these terrorists now is not able to protect its own asset this is the irony ISI is not able to protect its own asset how can you how can pakistan army protect its nation when it cannot protect its own uh, terrorist who are who jal musharraf called, called hafiz sai the national hero so i think there's a great game going on and i'm enjoying this game and okay. the friends of india have, friends of india have done a yeoman service to the nation and i'm grateful i'm obliged and i bless them i'm blessed that they keep doing this job excellent job i bless my ashirwad to you okay. i think personally personally i'm very happy okay so we'll have to leave that conversation there appreciate you joining us here on cnn news 18 we-